Hello, people's the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and happy Tuesday to you all. Got new music to check out, so let us get into it. We are hopping back on with the NCT train one time, specifically with Mr. Jayhyun, who I got to learn a little bit through that DJJ release we got a little while ago. But he's done a little NCT lab song titled Horizon, so we're gonna go and check that out today. Now, NCT. If you've been around, you know how kind of my journey with NCT have been. Um, I am slowly learning. Dream, I've managed to completely solidify. 127, I reckon I can get pretty close. The thing is, even though I've gone through an era with DJJ, like specifically with DJJ and its members, I still cannot for the life of me figure out Jungwoo and Jaehyun. Just like, if you show me two pictures of them, I just cannot get them ingrained in my head. So I'm really hoping that just having like a solo JM project will one, like musically ingrain them into my head, but also like visually ingrain them into my head. Because once I get them figured out, I reckon 127 will be pretty good to go. And that only leaves, well, I don't know if learning NCT U will be all that beneficial at this point, and then that will leave me with just Wavy. So... Slowly but surely, we're making our way through NCT. So, here we go. What is this going to be? Mr. Jaehyun Horizon. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see if I can pick out any key moments from Perfume with Jaehyun that I could remember. Hmm. I can't think of any right now. So you know what? We'll call, we'll call it a fresh start, clean slate. Let's learn. Here we go. Firenze. I was there last year. I was wondering if it was Firenze or not from the Duomo in the opening scene. But also, hello, why is it so smooth? This is such an interesting song because it's really smooth and simple but also really busy at the same time. Like, the overall sound is very simple in terms of the structure but each little component is has very minuscule but plentiful details. It's so in interesting, it's different. I also like how the, the bass and the beat once the chorus comes around isn't persistent. You get little blips of it. Oh, oh, hasty chord sequence, hello. Oh, 
hello. Hold on a minute. Um, wow. Was that smooth or what? Don't do it. Yeah. Wow. Very smooth. Spectacular. It's almost dreamy in a way. And I kind of like it. It's the kind of scenery they have of the... Um, I don't know if it was all Italy where they shot this at, but in the Mediterranean coastline, really chill vibes. Oh, stylistically, it is absolutely perfect. He's got such a nice, airy... It's like he's got an airy voice, but it's also a really mellow airiness. It's not one of those where you can like hear the air like being breathed out into the microphone to be picked up. But you can still feel the airiness in his tone through the voice that he's putting out. So you don't get like the higher like white noise part of the airiness. But it's just a really mellow vocal tone that fits so well for a song of this nature. And I wonder if... Admittedly, I didn't look too far into how the musical direction of that DJJ release uh, ended up coming to fruition. Like, I don't know whose style choice it was, but just based off of the Sensity Lab and how Horizon stylistically and just like musically sonically is very familiar to perfume and the songs on that b-side or the b-sides on that album i wonder if jayhan had a hand in this like did jayhan have a hand in horizon and also in the perfume project because if so i like his tastes i like his tastes a very refined sound Night. Nice. He pulls it off, too, and that's the big thing, is that he pulls it off. Because people can challenge, you know, going with a more mature, more subdued, more refined concept. But Jaehyun just sounds so comfortable in it. It just feels so free and so gentle and so casual. I love that. The main thing, I mentioned somewhere in the middle that this song is both very simple and very complex at the same time. I want to go back to the chorus, I think, is the best part for it. This is great. So you've got the this surface, da 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 da. da. So you've got Jahan's vocal part. Then you've got the bass part below, which isn't sustained all across the measure. You have like little blurbs of it scattered around here and there. You have like three different pad beats. You've got like a cymbal beat. You've got an actual tom beat. Um. Pretty high pitched, almost like a not bongo, but that kind of sound. A little bit of hi hat action, get a little bit of clean electric guitar, you get a little vocal reverb effect going on. There's a lot of components, and they're all doing something at various points. So, if we're going in strictly music terms, the syncopation and the layers of syncopation this chorus has is extensive. And they never really quite line up all together. They're staggered in where they come across. So, like bass, you come in at like one, three and a half, and then like four and a half. Got maybe a little snare and like cymbal hi hat section taking up beats two three and four you got a reverb effect on just beat three uh, electric guitar on two and if you kind of just like visualize all the points like um i don't know how many of you are familiar with like music creating software and things like that but you can kind of see from like blocks just like where each instrumental part has something in the recording you stack them all together like all six seven layers and whatnot you probably wouldn't get that many portions in the song where they overlap heavily. Maybe you'll get, you know, two or three parts that overlap on top of each other at any given major beat. 
The fact that all of those parts are moving independent of each other, but it still feels like one cohesive project is hard to do, I think, especially when the rhythms of all of the parts are so complex and diverse. It's hard to bring it all together, but it doesn't feel like it ever falls apart for me. It's busy, yes, and I'll, I'll admit that, it's busy. But it doesn't feel like it's just thrown together because that's where it only fit. It feels busy on purpose, like they've done it on purpose. And yet, it feels really smooth, and I think that's primarily down to how JM kind of delivers on the vocal on this chorus, but it just... Even with all the busyness going on in the instrumental part, it just flows so smoothly, like a warm summer breeze flowing across the Mediterranean coastline. Yeah. Yeah, he, pull, he pulls this off so effortlessly easily. Or at least it sounds effortless. But it's real. Good. It's really good. Don't get me wrong, I love a really high energy like bubblegum pop song. I love a bouncy EDM track. I adore a ballad. But there's something about this like subdued refined sound that artists will sometimes do in their solo works that just really does something to me. And I think it is it mainly does come down to my general perception of like pop music and the common genres that come out of this genre and how whenever something that's a little bit out of the ordinary comes around, of course it's going to stand out for me because it's different. But I'm glad that there are people out there who kind of go for this casual yet sophisticated, slow yet refined. This kind of vibe. It's like well-aged hard liquor. Very subdued, very understated. Packs a punch. Very refined, very smooth. Doesn't need a lot to get his point across. This one's this one's a good one. This one's a good one. But that is it for me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request for me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be you know, checking in with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day. Knows that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.